Mayor of the Mavericks, Center the Grizzlies began preparations for their Friday and Saturday night matchups against the Colorado Eagles. Face off at 7 p.m. for both games. The Grizzlies are one of the hottest teams in the league as they are 6-2-2 two two in their last 10 games. We're ready to go. I think uh, you know the boys are pumped. We, we realize how big this weekend is. And... Um, you know, it's going to take every way to get a win. I thought we had a good week this week. Uh, guys were working hard, uh, sticking to the systems, kind of just up and down the ice, a lot of flow, a lot of battle drills, working on scoring, uh, special teams. It was good. I thought we had a good week. Hopefully, obviously the biggest weekend of our year. We got a team ahead of us in the standings, and just any time we can climb the ranks and climb the standings and get some points, and it's always a good week. One key to this weekend is going to be the special teams department as Colorado is second in the ECHL on the power play, the Grizzlies seventh in the ECHL on the penalty kill. Um, just stick to our systems, hard work. Like you said, special teams, we've got to capitalize on our opportunities. But uh, on the other side of that, we also have to stay out of the box. And if we do happen to get a penalty, then we have to be hard on the penalty kill and uh, just most of all just outwork them. They're a good team, so we have to just show up. Uh, play a full 60 minutes and outwork them. Anytime your, your power play can get you one or two, um, you know, it takes a lot, of, a lot of pressure off. But, um, you know, yeah, we, we're going to definitely need to rely on our, our, our penalty kill and our, and our discipline of not taking penalties. Uh, the fewer chances we give Colorado, the better, definitely. Um, you know, they got a, they got a high-powered offense there. So, um, you know, we got to make sure that we're disciplined. But, um, you know, special teams is always a big part of the game. Uh, so we got to make sure that we're ready. One bright spot for the Grizzlies has been Taylor Richart, who has six goals and five assists on the season. Those six goals are tied for the ECHL lead for most by a defenseman. I think in college I had three goals all four years, so uh, it's nice that they're coming and uh, hopefully they keep coming, but it's just uh, a lot of hard work by the guys getting the pucks, getting to uh, the front of the net, just screen, stuff like that, so uh, hopefully it can just keep on rolling. For the Grizzlies, one star has been goaltender Kevin Carr, who was 5-1-1 one one in his last seven starts. He's an unbelievable goalie. Like that kid, I mean, in practice, like it's anybody else it's a for sure goal and he just reaches over and makes it look easy and I, I haven't seen too many goalies been able to do what he's done and I mean he's he's been a hell of an addition to our team and we definitely we definitely appreciate him for that. It's a big weekend showdown for the Utah Grizzlies they take on the Colorado Eagles this Friday and Saturday night in games three and four of a seven game homestand. Get your tickets to the Mavericks Center box office or go to utahgrizzlies.com.